This is problem number 4.32 from the text. The problem says, the question says, use source transformation to find current Ix in the given circuit. So that's the current. We have a let's take a look at what circuit elements we have. We have a, a independent voltage source, a dependent current source and four resistors in this in this network and we are being asked to find out what Ix is. So the way we're going to proceed then is we we will try to reduce some of these using source transformation. So my first attempt at this problem is to try and take this part of my network which has a current source with a resistor in parallel and I can replace that by a, a resistance and a voltage source in parallel in series um, and this since this is a dependent current source I will be getting a dependent voltage source to replace it so I can I can redraw this as a and notice that I'm going to use the same polarity as the positive is the leaving end of the current and so now that's at 10 ohm resistance and this now still has my 40 ohm resistance and I have my 50 ohm resistance which is still there and the rest of the circuit is exactly the same. So that's my 60 volts with that polarity that's 15 ohms and the rest of my circuit remains the same except that this voltage source a dependent voltage source now has a voltage of 5 I sub X the reason is the when we substitute a, a current source in parallel with a seed with a resistor we with a voltage source the voltage the magnitude of the voltage is the current times the resistance so that's 10 this is nothing but 10 times 0.5 ix which is equal to 5 ix so that's where that came from so now we have our network with a slightly reduced network and now I can again redraw this and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I will combine this these two resistors the 10 and 10 and 40 to a, to 50 ohms and what I, I will also do then is I will combine those and do another source transformation this time from a voltage source to a current source transformation so having doing the transformation then is going to make me have a 50 ohms 50 ohms followed by a a current Sorry, a current source and this current source now has a polarity again going this way because if I replace this again the polarity has to be the same that is it's going down so the polarity is still going down and the current is still going down and this now has a so the rest of my network is still the same that's my network and now I have the magnitude here is now going to be the pro the 
the voltage divided by the current. So that's going to be 5 Ix divided by 50, which is equal to 0.1 I sub X. So now I have these two resistors in series, uh, in parallel, and then we have another resistor there. So I can redraw my circuit then as being, so that's my 15. So I can redraw the circuit as a 15 here, followed by now again when I combine these two resistors, which are 50 and 50 that are in parallel, I will get a resistance of half of that, which is 25 because 1 over 50 plus 1 over 50 is 2 over 50 which is 1 over 25 which tells me that that's what that resistance is going to be and I still have my dependent current source with 0.1 Ix and that's my voltage source which I'm not touching this part I haven't touched yet so that's my 25 ohms and my 15 ohms and now I can redraw this again by doing another source transformation on this stuff which gives me the circuit that says I have a 15 ohm resistor in series followed by a dependent source with that as its polarity with uh, so that's my 25 ohms and the the magnitude here is going to be 0 0.1 ix remember this is a current source times 25 which is going to be 2.5 ix so now we have a sixty volt voltage source and so I can now find out what the current here is the current here which is what IX is the one we're trying to find out IX is given by the the formula that is we're going to apply KVL here if I apply KVL then minus sixty plus 15 I sub X plus 25 I sub X minus 2.5 I sub X equals 0 that tells me that that's 25 plus 15 which is which is 40 40 minus 2.5 is 37.5 I sub X equals 60 which tells me that I sub X is 60 divided by 37.5 which comes out to 1.6 Amps. So let's kind of review how we went about solving this problem. Um, the, the reason why I'm trying to reduce everything here is because I want to find Ix and the simpler I make this part of my circuit the easier it would be for me to find out what Ix is. Ideally I should be able to replace all of this by one straight line so that I can then apply KVL. So all these transformations I did were to achieve this final circuit where I have a simple loop 
to which I can apply KVL. So that is the rationale behind this reduction.